Hello grade 8 students. In this video, we're going to start for the revision for the first two lessons for the self and the lamsal and for the blood groups. To start with, let's talk about the immune system. What is the immune system? It's the army that protects our body against the harm around us, bacteria, viruses, and parasites. What is the role of the immune system? The role of the immune system is to protect the body against any possible invasion by bacteria and viruses and by parasites that are classified as pathogens and they can cause disease. So what is the role of the immune system? The role of the immune system is to defend its own citizens, meaning that its role is to defend the self and to attack any foreigners need that to attack the non self. So the immune system defends the self, meaning that my immune system defends my lungs, defends my heart, defends my kidney, defends my liver, defends my pancreas, defends my stomach, and it will attack any foreigners like bacteria, parasites, viruses outside the body. Also, you have to know the following. that so to study about the immune system we have to know what is HLA. HLA is known to be the human leukocyte antigen. This is the human leukocyte antigen is called the HLA. It's found on the surface of the nucleated cells. HLA is the biological identity marker. It's the one that determines this is a cell and this is non cell. And this will help the immune system to distinguish between the cell and non cell. Also, we have to know that the cell is of the same body and those of identical twin, they have the same HLA. While the cell of different virus persons, they have different HLA. For example, my cells, all of them, they have the same HLA, the same human leukocyte antigen. Whereas the cell from different body, we have different age and age. Here are some notes. You have to know that each person has a specific HLA on the surface of nucleated cells. But you have to know that where the blood cells, they do not have a nucleus. They are called and nucleated cells. Why? Because they lack a nucleus. Meaning that they don't have a nucleus, meaning that they don't have HLA on their surfaces. Also, you have to know that identical twins, we have identical HLA on their nucleated cells. Let's develop a Fourier model for the self and non self using the HLA terms. So, first, the self. What is the definition of the self? Definition of the self all that belongs to one's body and they have the same HLA. It's called the self. For example, my hand, my nose, my eyes my lungs, my liver, my pancreas, all of them, they belong to my body. Why the non-example is a non-example about the self. It doesn't belong to my body. So my friend's hand, my friend's kidney, my friend's pancreas, all of them, they are classified as non-self. Whereas definition of the non-self, all that doesn't belong to one's body, and they have different HLA. Example, my friend's hand, my father's hand, my mom's kidney, all of them, they are classified non-self since they don't belong to my body. Whereas, the one example about the non-self is the self. My hand, my liver, my lungs, my nose, my skin, and so on. Also, you have to know what is a graft. A graft is a transplant of a tissue or an organ from one side to another in the same body or from one body to another. This is called grafting. Grafting is of four types. The first type is the automatic type. It's the autograft. Autograft is the graft that's transferred from one body to another, from one side in the body to another in the same body. So from my, for example, from my face or from my thigh to my face, from my hand to my thigh. This is in the same body from one side to another. Whereas, another example from my hand to my friend's hand. 
So autograph, it's automatic, as I said before. Automatic means that it occurs within the same body. Second type, it's called the isograph. Isograph, iso, it starts with the letter I. Identical starts with the letter I. So iso, it's for identical twins. So the graph is transferred from one person to the identical twin is classified as isograph. So Samir's kidney transfer to his identical twin. It's called isograph. Why Samir's kidney transfer to his sister twin is not identical twin, it's called not an isograph, it's called allograph. And here we go with the allograph. Allograph, the graph is transplanted from one person to another in the same speech, for example, from Maya to Rilla, from Ismail to Karim, from Abbas to Adam. Abbas and Adam, Maya and Rilla, Maya and Karim, uh, Muhammad and uh, Fatima, all of them, they belong to the same species, which is human. Why? And an example about this, from a cat to a dog. Cat and dog, they are different species. It's called xenograph. Xenograph is when the graph is transferred from one animal to another from different species. Example about this from a cat to a dog, from a horse to a donkey, from a monkey to a cat, for example. We are different species. This is called xenograph. So till now, we have four different types of graph. The first one is called autograph. Autograph is automatic. It occurs within the same body. Isograph, it's identical twins. And the allograph, it's the graph that's done between different individuals belonging to the same species. This is called the, auto, the allograph. Okay? So allograph is done between different individuals belonging to the same species. So this is called allograph. And then we have the last type of this is called the xenograph, where the xenograph is done between different individuals belonging to different species. So till now, we have four different types of graph. The first one is called the autograph. Autograph is done between different, autograph is done between the same body, within the same body, and from one side to another. The second type of graph is called the uh, isograph between two identical twins. And the third type of graph is called the uh, allograph, different individuals belonging to the same species, while the fourth type is called the xenograph. Okay, these are the four different types of graphs. First, we have the auto, iso, allo, and xenograph. So now let's move to the what affects the fate of the graph. The fate of the graph is affected by what? So the fate of the graph is affected by the degree of similarity of HLA between the donor and the recipient. Meaning that the similarity of HLA, higher the similarity, the higher the chance for the graph to be accepted between the donor and the recipient. Well, the meaning of the donor is the one that donates. Well, the meaning of the recipient is the one that receives. Now let's move to the blood groups, the ABO, system. Body groups, we have four different groups. So first, you have to know that we have four different body groups. We have body group A, we have body group B, body group AB, and body group O. Let's start first with the body group A. Body group A, if you belong to the body group A, you will have antigen A on the surface of your blood cells. So always, the antigens, they are similar to the body group. Blood group A, you have antigen A, and you have opposite to the antigen as an antibody. So you have antibody B on your blood plasma. So blood group A has antigen A and antibody B. Since the antigen and its corresponding antibody should not be present within the same blood group, unless we will have the process or the phenomenon which is called acclimation. Let's move to blood group B now. Blood group B, if you are blood group B, so you have antigen, like the blood group, you have antigen B, whereas you have antibody A. So 
antigen B and antibody A. So let's repeat this. Blood group A, you have antigen similar to the blood group. So you have antigen A and you have antibody opposite to the blood group. You have antibody B. While blood group B, you have antigen B and antibody A. Blood group AB is that you have both antigens, A and B. So this is the blood group AB. And none of the antibodies you are present in the plasma. So you have no anti-A, no anti-B antibodies. Blood group O is the poorest one. It's the null group. It's called the null blood group. So it has no antigens, neither A or B. But it has both antibodies, A and B. Many people also, they have the RH factor. RH factor, which is determined which is RH plus or RH minus. Okay, so this is called the RH factor. So the person with RH minus will develop, and the person with RH plus can receive a plant with the person from RH minus without any problems. And this is for the blood groups. This table is a very important table. So you have to know that blood group AB, it has both antigens, A and B, while there is no antibodies. So it can give blood group only to AB, but it can receive blood from AB, A, B, and O. So what do we call blood group AB? AB is called the universal recipient. It receives the blood from the different blood groups. Blood group A, it has antigen A, while antibody B. It can give to A and AB, but it can't receive unless from A and O. But the group B has antigen B and antibody A. It can give blood group to B and AB. So as you see here, AB can get from AB, from A, from B. And it can give blood group only, but it would be to the B and O. But the group O, antigens, no antigens. Antibodies, it has antibodies A and B. So it can give blood to A, B, A, B, and O. So it can give blood to the different blood groups. So here, blood group O is called the universal donor, since it can donate blood to different blood groups, but it can't receive unless from group O. So here you have to know that the blood group AB is called the universal recipient, since it receives blood from all the blood groups, but blood group O is called the universal donor since it can give blood to the different body groups A, B, A, B, and O. Okay? Thank you.